I passed out in 2020 and I was placed in a call center job in HCF. So I worked around three to four months there and it was completely night shift. It was it was very bad for me. So I just quit that job and I take a pause of around four to five months. And I by somehow I like prepared for some basic DSA around like a uh, link list or statil there. I had a little knowledge and I cracked this small startup company as an okay. associate engineer. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are back with a success story of one of our students. Hi, my name is Ravi and uh, I have uh, done my BTEC from CV Raman College of Engineering 2020 in 2020 and uh, I am currently a backend developer. Not exactly backend developer, you can say I'm an associate backend uh, associate software engineer in Windmill Smart Solutions for around past uh, two point five years. Uh, I joined XU job in past year around January, so yeah. it's been around one year here. And uh, the main motive to join XU job was to get a roadmap like how can I crack a good product based company with a good job. So hmm. that's. Okay, so Ravi, you have done your graduation in uh, electrical branch, right? Yes. And uh, you ran it in twenty twenty two only, and after that, you also started working somewhere. It's not mm-hmm. a properly tech profile, but somewhere in between. So tell us mm-hmm. a little bit about that. You know how you were able to crack that also, and uh, what was the reason? You know, and how you got to know about Akio job, and you decided that you should be upskilling yourself through a boot camp. So tell us a little bit about that journey. Yes. Sure. So uh, I passed out in 2020, and I was placed in a call center job in HCF. So I worked around three to four months there, and it was completely night shift. It was it was very bad for me. So I just quit that job, and I take a pause of around four to five months, and I by somehow I like prepared for some basic DSA around like uh, link list or statil there. I had a little knowledge, and I cracked this small startup company. as an okay. associate engineer yes so okay. after that working for one year there i was like what is happening with my life i am just like doing work here and nothing is like my goal was not fixed so at that time i was searching for some institute like mm-hmm. uh, let's say like something so i got many institute option like there was many institutes there out there like scalar cryo coding ninja so the main reason to choose xu job was that xu job had this batch manager and this very flexible timing for me because i was a uh, working profession at that time i needed a time like where i can study and next year job like i got time at night to study and my dot outs were solved even at 11 to 12 uh, pm at night so that was a great uh, advantage to me so that's why i job next job and like i started my dsa journey from here from dsa to learning to spring spring boot everything like how things work in corporate environment and uh, like how can we get prepared my linkedin profile my resume like projects and many thing i learned here like the the whole so my only suggestion would be there like if any new person is joining xu job it's not the xu job will provide you the thing xu job will give you everything like they will give you tons and tons of question projects resume everything it's you who have to do work hard if you are not working on then i can definitely guarantee you no one can give you placement Hmm. So it's the same thing happened with me. Like the XU job gave me each and everything. And uh, like in, in the recent times, like the past year, the companies like were not hiring. So like there was very tense uh, situation. Like where we will be getting placed and all. But uh, like recently this year, the company started hiring, and I applied in GE Healthcare. And yes, like this was my second company where I applied, and I got set selected. So hmm. yeah, and XU job helped me a lot in this process. Okay, that's great, Ravi. And I think your advice is also quite fair. That uh, you need to be like very consistent. At yes. your job will give you everything. You just need to take out time, right? So, uh, like uh, this brings me to my next question because uh, you are someone who is a working professional who yes. had a decent job, right? Uh, right after your graduation, and still you somehow managed to uh, do a full time job and also pursue this course, mm-hmm. right? So, anything uh, you know, anything that you would like to share. With us, so that uh, people who are maybe working professionals who want to upskill themselves, they are watching this, and they can get maybe some uh, 
tips or tricks from you or maybe strategy on how to actually have a schedule uh, where you, they can also manage a full time job and also um, you know pursue a course like this so that they can make a better transition in their life so anything that you would like to share on that um yes the one and very important thing for me was time management i will literally say you this word because time management this is the only thing how can i achieve which through which i can achieve this this job it took mm-hmm. me around one year of intensive study and uh, practice like to get all of this thing like dsa strong my spring boot like projects everything it took around one year so i will not be flexing i done in two months three months that is not a thing you have to give time into this and result will mm-hmm. come automatically so mm-hmm. like i used to work for around 4 uh, to 5 hours in my company i always try to wrap up each and everything of my work i never give them like like okay so i will be working very hard in this company because i know by because i know like there is no future in this company like whatever they were giving to me it was just like my financial situation were bad that was that's why i was working in this company or i would mm-hmm. have just taken a drop of one year and uh, i would have done extra job like completed completely so because of mm-hmm. that that i was working here and uh, so my routine was like i just woke up at morning and i would done the those those day all this company job every project everything was done and at uh, 6 uh, pm like 5 pm i was free i take one hour of break and then this classes class starts like around 3 hours of class after the class i do one uh, one to two hour of self studies like mm. whatever the things were there and uh, like one thing what i keep constant constantly going with my life is was is what that initial days like whenever mm. we do this dsa there are four modules till mm. we do intermediate dsa so in mm. that days i continue practice of around four question per day so i did like four question per day and uh, even if you will see like i have solved more than 900 or 1000 question in excel job portal that's so, great so yes so that was a thing like i know i know that dsa is very important thing because my not, not my target is not to crack g healthcare but it was like crack fang so i took the target of fang and mang and like then i was able to crack this g healthcare if your mm-hmm. target is only g healthcare and infosys then i don't think you would be able to, anyone will be able to crack this product based company so target should be always higher and mm-hmm. then okay. so this was the strategy time management i did and uh, like when time passes on like when spring boot module came and intermediate dsa and everything came like dsa mm-hmm. i never left this dsa practicing it was always in a key routine i today also i go and i solve two question one question per day in read code so that i just don't get out of this uh, dsa mm-hmm. thing because the healthcare is not the last company i will be joining like after four or five years i will again seeing some other opportunities Hmm. I think that's a great mindset, uh, Ravi. And uh, one thing that maybe people can do with their jobs is like not a lot of things they can cover. They can just do something at least regularly, right? Maybe solve three or four yes. questions, set a target for themselves, and then uh, follow up to that. And maybe if they consistently do it and if they continue doing it, uh, they will be able yes. to crack up properly. And they should always set a higher standard for themselves. Yes, yes, yes. Like that's why it took me around one year. So <laughs> it was mm-hmm. not like. Uh, Four months yes. or five months. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you are someone who was already working, and you know, you uh, have consistently studied, and then also it took you a year. So obviously, mm-hmm. if anyone wants to crack a really good company, they should be giving it enough time and not think that you know something will just happen okay. in five six months and they will be. Able to crack it. Things are going to. Happen. Yes. Yes. That's great. Uh, thank you so much, Ravi. These are the questions I had in mind. Uh, we wish you all the best for your future ahead. Any last words you would like to share uh, share with the viewers out there who are watching you, or maybe who would get inspiration from you and will start their coding journey? Okay. So, like, only one thing I will be giving anyone if is, who is watching this video is that. Uh, uh, in life, like uh, enjoyment, friends, and like. Uh, like jo- doing enjoyment watching movies and uh, gossiping like playing games uh, investing time here and there it is okay like it's a sort of entertainment but this will never yeah. give you anything so hmm. we should always like to focus on our career first because that is the only thing we have like my currently i am like around 26 year of age and uh, like at this age i am getting this good great company this will be a, a very great good start for me like in my house in my like entire family no one has cracked like much amount of like salary at this low age so hmm. so like if you give a good start to your career then at a later point of time when 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 you are around 35 or 40s and you can 
like at that time you have you will be achieving your goals around like then you will be sitting around 35 or 40 lpa per annum, per annum and uh, like life will be easy for you but if you don't have money or if you don't have a good career in your life then i don't hmm. think like life is it's easier so that is my advice to you <laughs> that's a great piece of advice avi uh, thank you so much again for taking out time to do this with us uh, i hope people listening to you will surely find it inspiring and start their coding journey as soon as possible uh, yeah thank you so much we will see you soon that is it for today's video guys i hope you all found it extremely insightful if you also want to get started with your coding journey go to the website and check out the courses all the courses are amazing instructors beat one stack or dava full stack take the eligibility test and find out for yourself uh, which course is best for you and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, thank you so much for taking out time and uh, we will see you in the next one